This is going to be a really short video. I just want to make a point what are the best settings for Arc Survival Ascended because I tried uh, way too many settings and uh, some people recommended some settings, some reputable channels with hundreds of thousands of people and totally messed up my settings. So if you have floating rocks and you cannot pick any rocks or stones and in general if you have flickering stuff like that or if your FPS is not improving, this is the settings you should use. So I'm playing on 2K, uh, advanced settings medium, view distance low, texture high, post processing medium, general shadows, it's really, shadows are really heavy hitter. Uh, basically medium does, uh, medium is okay, it's still fine, it just like uh, frame rate of the shadows are just lower and it's like, it's not flickering, but it's just changing slowly. If you care about that, you can make it high and it's gonna be better. But medium is still good. Global illumination, basically this setting uh, is the major update. If you actually going to put this to low, you're gonna get old arc uh, lighting and um, color scheme. So basically this should be on Epic if you want to get that new arc feel and look. FX quality medium, foliage quality high. Now interesting, but I have it locked on 60, but actually the settings I have 40, 70, so you can go up to like 85, 85 frames per second, but I just keep it on 60 because this game is just not stable at all. And motion blur again of light bloom and light shaft just makes game a little bit more current gen, but I have it turned off. This is the most important, my low light enhancements. Also, you can turn it on and off. I have it on because it's not a big difference. This is the interesting one. Enable foliage fluid interaction. This causes that floating rocks everywhere. So people say, make it on zero, lowest possible. No, don't do it. It's gonna break your game. You won't be able to pick any stone and floating stones and rocks everywhere. So keep this on. Keep all of this on as it is. And I also disabled uh, footsteps and uh, these and these. I don't I don't know what this does, but uh, these are uh, the settings, okay? And I have it on balanced because if you don't have it on balanced uh, and if you have a, on performance, on performance on distance, like when you see trees, all trees are just flickering. So, and that's that. Um, everything else, I'm going to show head bob. I have off. Um, first person uh, riding off, just FOV, I have on 85. I have sensitivity on 17 because it's like 20, it was 25, it was way too much. Camera off, set off, um, player camera mode, dyno camera mode, off, off, off. Um, disable third person, all oh, that's also. So uh, that's all it is. I have just master volume down right now just to speak. Uh, but that said, I uh, I tried frame generation and it's fine. Does same, just exactly same thing as uh, frame generation. It just makes you know, look game look more fluid. And, and that's uh, that. So I want to add one more tip. Uh, first of all, I'm not playing on a multiplayer on official servers because as you can see, like 40 pe 41 people, right? Let's find something which is like 12 people, right? If I'm gonna click join, it's not gonna join because it looks like they messed up this thing and you cannot even join any of the servers. I joined one server this morning and it kicked me out in like 10 minutes, five minutes. So I started single player and as we knew before in ARC when you die you see your last death location and uh, if you don't want that death location you click R or whatever key you have and it, sh it will show you a previous one. This one doesn't have it and I thought in the beginning oh, okay so then you lose the loot but actually you don't, it's just not showing you your death location. If you remember it exactly or you can clip it or something, you can still go there and find your loot. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for your attention.